So hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is sponsored by West Kiss Hair. They sent me some hair, so I wanted to show you guys how I bleach my closures and how I get my wigs ready on the go. So here is the hair. They sent me some beautiful straight hair, and these are the bundles, four bundles and a closure. I have a five by five closure, so I have more parting space. It's bigger, it kind of looks like a frontal, but it really just is a bigger closure. And here are the bundles. I have 22 inches of Peruvian straight, soft and silky, and I really love it. So again, this is West Kiss Hair. This this is human hair and it's the natural black color. So I'm gonna show you guys all the things that you need to create your wig. So of course, you're going to need a mannequin head because this is just going to be your base canvas for sewing. You're also going to need a bowl because you're gonna need something to put all of the things in for bleaching your closure and some form of mixing utensils, so a brush or a knife. And obviously you're going to need a wig cap and you're going to need the Collada Colors in Blue toning powder so that you don't get like an orange brassy look. And you're going to need the bleaching powder because we're gonna to have to lighten and lift the hair so that that the knots can get to a nice brown color and a developer is just a reactant cream that is going to start up that mixture also some black hair dye just in case you mess up so you're going to need needle thread and scissors because we're going to be sewing definitely have a lot of needle and thread because it makes it easier and go ahead and put on that wig cap on a mannequin head so when it comes to bleaching, you're going to start off with some aluminum foil as a base for cleanliness and to speed up the bleaching process. Get your bleaching powder as well as your 40 volume developer and your Collada Colors in blue and your mixing bowl and this is what we're going to need to go ahead and start bleaching. So it's just going to be your little section for bleaching your closure and the knots. So have your mixing bowl ready and go ahead and take your bleaching powder first, open that up and pour that into the bowl. You don't need to use the whole packet for the entire closure, maybe just about one third or half and then the collider colors in blue again this is just going to make sure it tones the color so it's not too reddish not too brassy looks like a brown color and adding your developer take your mixing utensil and go ahead and mix it so that it's like a paste and it's not too watery but not too thick either so now that you have that done, you could go ahead and lay your closure down and get ready to apply. I just want you guys to lightly apply this onto the knots and just spread it evenly. Make it a thin coat. Don't make it too thick so that it doesn't seep through and bleach the hair. You just want it to bleach the knots only. This is just going to make the hair look so much more natural when you part it and when you put it up or do whatever. And then take your aluminum foil and put it on top lightly. And that aluminum foil is going to help with the processing. So I set this for about 25 minutes and I just use my phone timer so that I don't forget because usually I'm doing so much and that's how long we're gonna let it sit and after 25 minutes the knots should have lightened so I pull that aluminum foil right off of the closure and it's time to rinse everything out and I always use the ISO plus neutralizing shampoo only because when you put this onto your closure or anything that you've used that you're using a chemical it's gonna turn pink and that's how you're gonna know that it's come in contact with a chemical and so when your water runs clear that's when you know you've washed everything out so it's really easy to use So once that's said and done, these are the knots after I've bleached it. As you can see, just the knots have like a brown color that's going to match with the scalp of our head. So I have showed you guys how to sew hair so many times, so we're going to go ahead and hit the styling. So I'm taking a flat iron and I'm going to go through line by line and I'm just going to flat iron the hair straight again since I washed it and it kind of waved up a little bit. And I also like to take my holding spray, any holding spray of your choice, spray it onto the hair and then flat iron. You only need a little light mist. Do not make it sticky, but it just keeps it nice and straight and keeps the flyaways away. So now we're going to go ahead and customize the closure and here is an up close look of the closure so I just got really close so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing and I plucked it a little bit already but take some tweezers and go in and make it look a lot more natural so you want to kind of start from the inside don't start right at the front because you might over pluck and it's gonna look kind of wide you don't want to have spots and patches at the front of your hair but make sure that you just do it in the center part or wherever you're parting and that front area of the hair so that it kind of just glides into your hairline also, we're going to be using a razor to cut the lace off because scissors leave like a big line of demarcation. So take the razor and just kind of follow the nooks and crannies, the dips and all of that of the front of the hair. Don't just go straight across and just go ahead and cut that right on off. 
So now it's time to actually wear the wig and put it on. So I was really excited because I love me a straight look and I don't always do it, but I kind of just sew down the elastic band, which I've showed you guys how to do before. And I just apply it onto my head. And once you put it on, you're gonna have to adjust it a little bit, shift it, move it around, make sure that the part is lined up at the front. And because we already straightened the hair and we already styled it, you can just go ahead and brush it through and make yourself look cute. Like I am now looking on and popping sin. So again, this hair is from West Kiss Hair. I will have all the information down below. And graduation and prom is coming up, so I want you guys to make sure that your hair is cute. So that is it. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks. Check out West Kiss Hair, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.